<clears throat> what's going on people you need back again uh, here with a special get sit down Sunday so today was our annual well, we'll probably do it one more time but it's usually just once a year but this year uh, vintage toy show but uh, this year um, the, the people that run it kind of run it uh, two other shows so they can kind of combine it this year. It's the two other shows like uh, music. It's uh, yeah, kind of music. This is a <clears throat> I have to take uh, say it is vintage, mainly vintage stuff. But the musical stuff was more like interest, uh, interest, ah, uh, instruments. Uh, whatnot. I saw a lot of electric guitars and uh like violins and stuff like that uh, but maybe a lot, a lot of electric guitars there uh, vintage uh, electronics like very old school stuff stuff from the 70s and stuff like uh, 70 audio systems and whatnot home systems and whatnot so and uh, vintage toy show so it was all combined in one and I was not expecting that many people to be there and this it was packed today, so hopefully they'll keep it like this because it, it seemed like it was they moved to a new uh, location which was bigger, so it, a lot more people showed up, and it was kind of kind of crazy. But uh, you know, I went there. I mainly was trying to you know still trying to find if anything modern, uh, anything. Uh, 25th anniversary to Pursuit of Cobra stuff, but you know, a lot of people was mainly like I said vintage stuff. So and some stuff there with modern stuff, but a lot of stuff I had and or some stuff I saw I saw somebody was selling that uh, classified uh, Cobra Eel for ninety dollars. I was like, no, I can wait for the uh, retro carded ones. <laughs> You know, people are getting crazy with these prices, so. But the few figures I did find, uh, I did pick up a couple of Lenard uh, core figures uh, on this guy. The ones that uh, got these for a dollar each, but these were the ones that weren't loosey, all loose, and uh, pretty good, still con good condition. I forgot this, but they were all single carded, I mean loose. This thing in focus. Why is my focus not focusing? I, anyway, I got this guy and this guy. Uh, and this guy. Why oh, my camera is not focusing? So there it is. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, and because two pre-orders, one came in yesterday that I didn't know about, <laughs> and one came today, uh, because this guy I did have as a kid, and that's why I pre-ordered him, but, um, I did find one, it's not complete, um, uh, but he was only $7, so I did find, like I said, Big Boa. Because, yeah, this guy came in yesterday. So, probably do a comparison video and quick try to do a quick review of this guy. Uh, yeah, I was found him that way. So, I'll have, now I gotta look online and see if I can find the rest of them, uh, parts for him. Uh, along with him, like I said, he came in yesterday. This guy came in today. On the other one, I this was the I didn't even know I got no kind of uh, notification that these guys were coming. I've seen people's videos up already, but I thought since I had mine uh, with Amazon, they would come a little bit later. But that's, I'm gonna get into that. But I wanted to get the figures out the way because uh, I got a lot lot more. 
single issue comic books at this show, you know. It's a lot of stuff I didn't really want to get, but also I finally got my favorite Jet Li movie. I only got three these two. Uh got these for three dollars. Don't mind that price, but I guess the guy never opened it. But he was selling DVDs and got once upon a time in China. That should have left them right there. So I can see if I can keep everything in there. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite Jet Li movie. Uh, if you ever seen it, I just checking that out. Uh, uh, and I got this. Uh, it's the first 20 episodes of She-Ra. Uh, like I said $3 for those two. So might as well go for that. So, but, uh, now this, like I said, I got a lot more comics at this show. Not a, like you should so I'll try to real quick. Um and so I got uh Peter David's run on I think I'm missing these issues. I think I have this one. I may have to check, but I got seven seven eight and nine of that. Um got an issue of the flash with my favorite Flash villain, uh, Mirror Master. That's my favorite Flash villain. So. Don't know why, but he is. Um, got two issues of some Squadron Supreme. Um, like I said, um, I wish they had done... They probably will go back, but I wish I hope we do get this version of uh, uh, Power Princess uh, with this costume. Because this is the one I know her most from, so... Um, and I got some New Warriors, uh, issues. I got, these are out of order. It's 26, and I got 25. I don't know why it's out of order. And issue 25. And hopefully we'll get this Norma, uh, Norma Rita in that costume. Uh, I still need to get this guy. Uh, I'm just waiting. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, an issue of Cloak and Dagger, number three. Um, get this issue of Captain America, uh, with Modoc and one of the Serpent Society. So, uh, hope we get this guy soon. That's one team I need to finish off. Probably, I don't know, but I hope we can get to finish off that team. Uh, Got X Factor number 50. I need this to finish off this storyline. Um, and it's also part of the Acts of Vengeance because I've been trying to get every single issue of that event. Uh, I got another this uh, Silver Surfer Warlock crossover issue. A um, couple of Fantastic Four. Uh, with the Five for Four with Spider-Man and Electro, um, that, and what was that? That was two, yeah, two eighteen and two nineteen. The next issue, so uh, and some more Excalibur <laughs> um, that I need. I'm doing, trying to get some of these old runs. Uh, issue eight and nine, I got. And 13, issue 13. And just going back and do, trying to fill in some classic X Men issues too. Not X Men, the, but the classic X Men, which kind of, that's how I had to get caught up on most of the old X Men stories when I started reading. So it's just kind of nostalgic for me. <laughs> um, I have the trade paperback of this. So, um, but I don't have single issues, and it is kind of fun. I got only got these for a dollar each. Um, so I got the uh, what was this thing called again? Uh, it's Superman, but uh, what was this thing they was trying to do? Like the I forget the name of the not Ultimates. I want to say Ultimates. Uh, All Star Superman. I said this. Yeah, I got All Star Superman one and two. 
I didn't have the single issue, so that and uh, so and I did this. I got this for a dollar because it had Darth Maul on the cover. This guy was selling these old magazines, so just got this old Star Wars magazine. It's for a dollar, so from there. So that's like I said, I got a lot of more comics from this show than figures, so but uh, that's all I picked up. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna try to get to some reviews I got uh, here coming soon. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, and till next time, don't support scalpers and stop making our builders store exclusives. Peace. <laughs> right on cue.